what we are doing is producing electrolysis. So we are breaking the water molecules to produce small bubbles of uh, hydrogen and, and oxygen. And by doing that, you can see some of the particles that are getting into the, in the fluid, and we can visualize the vortices that are produced by the water striders. High-speed imagery revealed that these bugs can balance atop the water because their front and back legs are covered in thousands of tiny hydrophobic water-repelling hairs. When they want to move, they stick their middle legs into the water, deploying oar-like structures whose hydrophilic properties allow them to penetrate the water's surface with ease. These structures also enable ripple bugs to break and change direction with minimal effort. It's like a small wing, because when you observe in the microscope, it looks like a feather, actually, you know? When the fan touches the water, it expands in 10 milliseconds. That, that's faster than a blink of an eye. And when I remove it again, it collapses at the same time. Having a built-in set of oars, a structure not seen in other species of water striders, allows the ripple bugs to move faster and more efficiently than similar surface-dwelling insects. 